This video is going to show us how to do linear regression on our calculator. Again, the only way we can do regression is by using our calculator. Some of you guys may have the 84 graphing calculator and some of you guys might have an 83 graphing calculator and they're slightly different in terms of what we do. So the first couple of steps are all the same. So here's our information um, in activity 3.10 and we know that the temperature is the input and the dissolved oxygen in parts per million is the output based on this information regarding a trout and it says that the trout needs a minimum of six parts per million to live so this information is modeled by a linear regression or a line um, but it's not exactly a line so we're going to use linear regression to best approximate that so the first thing we're going to do is Go to STAT to enter the information into the calculator. So STAT, ENTER, gives us this L1 and L2. L1 is our inputs, L2 is our outputs. And if you notice there's things already in my calculator that I need to get rid of. And I don't ever want to hit the DELETE key, I need to hit the CLEAR key. So up arrow, CLEAR, ENTER removes all the information in that column. And then I'm going to go over and do the same thing, up arrow, clear, enter, removes the information in the input column. So now I'm going to just type in my information. So 11, 16, 21, 26, 31, and then I an arrow over, 10.2, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 7, and 6.4. Okay, now that the information is into our um, calculator, L1 and L2, we're going to have the calculator um, compute the regression equation. So STAT, right arrow, for calculate. And if you see here that it says linear regression, so it's number four. So we're going to hit number four. Now in the 84s, we have this L1, L2 store regression equation. It's very important that we store the regression equation. So I'm going to arrow down until I get to store regression equation. And I'm going to tell it what to store. So I have to go to the VARs, which is variables. And then I want the Y variables, because I'm going to store it in the Y equals. And it's a function. So I hit enter again. and enter for that one. So I hit the enter key three times and then I'm going to hit the enter key here and so here is our regression equation where A is our slope and B is our vertical intercept and so this is telling us that um, at negative 0.184 parts per million per temperature so as the dissolved oxygen as for every temperature of increase, as the temperature increases by one degree, the amount of dissolved oxygen decreases by 0.184 parts per million. And to begin with, at zero, when the temperature is zero degrees Celsius, the amount of dissolved oxygen is 11.844 parts per million. Now that's for the 84 calculator. Over here on the 83 calculator, I've already entered the information in L1 and L2, and again, you do that by going STAT, right arrow, I'm sorry, STAT, and then just the Enter key, and you can place your information, your inputs in L1, your outputs in L2, and then to calculate it, we're going to do STAT, the right arrow, and again, number four, so this process is similar. And now notice here it's not asking for anything, but we do still need to store the information, so we're going to VARS, right arrow, and then hit the enter key one, two, three times, and notice we get the same information in the 83 graphing calculator as we do the 84 calculator. Now the reason why we did um, the store regression in Y equals, it gives us all the decimal places that we need in order to find information.